Hello, we have about a half an hour to spend together, maybe 40 minutes. We have a friend coming over later, but I wanted to hop on really quick, answer any of your questions and chat a little bit about procrastination and habit forming. So welcome, thank you for joining me and don't forget to grab the plant-based bundle. There's less than 36 hours left to get it. If you were thinking about getting it, grab it now because it's gonna be gone like that. So Monday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern, it's over. So again, just over 24 hours left to grab it. I've pinned the comment or the link in the chat. Uh, it's also in my bio, so go check it out. Go see all the cool stuff you're getting for 50 bucks. You're getting almost $9,000 worth of vegan content. There's lots of raw things in there. You're getting five of my eBooks and Nate's microgreens video course. So many goodies in there for 50 bucks. This is the last chance to grab it. So please go check it out. The link again is in my bio or right here in the chat. So please go check that out. And if you have any questions, oh, yes, we've got someone here in here that got it. That's awesome. It is such a treasure trove. And again, it's only 50 bucks. You are getting all of this. We all get together um, a few times a year and we help you to get all the content for a very, very small investment because if you were to buy everything individually, it would be worth over $9,000. So please go check it out. Again, less than 36 hours remain to get this deal and then it's over. Um, I wanted to chat a little bit about procrastination and habit forming with you today. So again, if you have any questions, please post in the chat. We're gonna talk about procrastination and how we can use it to our advantage. So how can we use procrastination to our advantage? We, most of us, I would say, are pretty good at procrastinating. I know I am. I procrastinate really, really well. Um, so if I'm good at procrastinating, if we're good at procrastinating, how can we use that to our advantage? We're already skilled in that, right? So how can we use it? We can start to procrastinate on different things. So right now we're really good at procrastinating on eating healthy, or exercising or going to bed early, we procrastinate on it. And instead, we should start procrastinating on the habits that we no longer want to have. So if we want to start going to bed early, start procrastinating on going to bed late. Say you'll do it later or another day. That's a great way of saying it. I'll do it another day because we say that about eating healthy, right? I'll wait until Monday or I'll start again tomorrow or New Year's is coming up. So we're going to wait until the new year to do it. Instead, wait until the new year or you don't have like a, an actual date. I like to just say another day because then that just puts it off somewhere in the future and you may never, ever get to it. So I like to say, I'm going to go to bed late another time, but tonight I'm going to go to bed early. So that allows you the flexibility of not feeling like, like in a box, like you have to go to bed early. You're allowing yourself the possibility to go to bed late later, but tonight you plan on going to bed early and following your new habits. And this can really help to transform your daily habits by just procrastinating on the habits that you don't want to be doing anymore. And this takes practice, of course, just like anything in life. It takes practice, it takes time to get there. But this moves into the habit forming. If we can practice procrastinating on those other habits, we can start building our new habits. So instead of fighting the old habit, we can build the new habit. We can focus on that new habit. Um, we've got happiness leadership says such a cool tip. Yeah, I really wanted to share that with you guys because it has helped me in my life and I want to share with you. But since I'm so good at procrastinating, I thought might as well procrastinate things that I don't want to be doing anymore because I'm so good at procrastinating. Why not use that skill to my advantage? So just say like, if you're going to, if you don't want to eat junk food anymore, just say to yourself, I'll eat those potato chips another time. I'll do it another, another day, another month, another, another time, put it off. But today I choose to make this raw salad. And then you eat that instead that helps you to solidify those new habits. Then the next day you just do it all over again. Say you have a, a desire for um, some pizza or whatever and be like, oh, I'll just, I'll have that another time. Tonight, I'm going to make 
um, something from the plant-based bundle. You guys have to go grab the bundle. There's less than 36 hours left to get it. The link is in the chat or in my bio. Go check it out. See all the goodies you're getting for 50 bucks. But that's really what it boils down to is focusing on the new habit and not so much fighting the old because we're always like, I need to stop doing this. I need to go to bed early and I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to, I should, I should, I should, right? We should all over ourselves, but we don't actually do the thing, right? We're always focused on not doing the other thing instead of replacing it with something else. So if you don't want to go to bed late, what are you going to do instead? You focus on the new habit. You focus on going to bed earlier. So that's what a, a really quick thing I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to go back here in the chat and see if we've got any questions or any comments. Um, those earrings are so adorable. Funny your live is regarding procrastination because I'm procrastinating right now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Procrast see, we're good at it. We procrastinate on all kinds of things and just really start changing what you procrastinate on, right? Go get that thing done. And if you've been procrastinating on grabbing the bundle, now's your chance. Go click the link in the chat or the link in my bio. You can send me a DM if you want the link. The link is in my stories. It's everywhere because it's an amazing deal. You're getting almost $9,000 worth of vegan content. There's lots of raw in there. There's five of my eBooks. There's Nate's microgreen course. There's so much. <laughs> and that's why we're so excited to share it with you guys because we want you to have more tools to implement more healthy plant-based habits in your life. And this is a great way to do it. Grab that bundle if you've been procrastinating on getting it. Watermelon Lime says, great hair, thank you. I just put my, my bangs back because I don't feel like, like making them down today. <laughs> um, so I feel fresh. And yes, these earrings I got in um, Bryce Canyon when we went with uh, Nate's sons for Father's Day. Your eyes are beautiful, so healthy looking. Thank you. <laughs> eight years, over eight years of raw um, has helped me so much. It's, it's been so wonderful. Um, Watermelon Lime says, how to focus on one thing better when you want to get so many things done at once? That's a great question. So really, my tip, this is what helps me a lot because I have a zillion things to do, much like everyone else does, right? We all have our things that we need to get done. The things that help me the most are to make a list before going to bed. So actually, I have this productivity journal and in this journal, it has like, basically you could totally do this on just a piece of paper but we have these really cool journals so at the top it says your most important thing that you need to get done so you write that one down and then you have two secondary most important things and then two more other really important things so it's like the top five things that you need to get done today so if it's like filing your taxes that's like the number one or emailing your accountant or um going to meet a friend at noon right like these really super important things that you really need to get done or you could also put the thing that you really don't want to do on it the thing that you've been procrastinating on write that down on there and i like to do this at night before bed so i have an idea of what my goals are the next day and then if you write a list down and then you just do one at a time because once you write it down you don't have to think about them all you have to do is follow the list so the first thing is to email your accountant. Don't worry about doing the laundry or making lunch or going for your workout or whatever. Just focus on emailing your accountant. And then once that email is done, then you move on to the next thing. Say it's laundry, put the load of laundry in and do that. And I like to play games with myself. I'll like time myself and see how fast I can do certain tasks, obviously doing them thoroughly, but trying to do them as efficiently as possible. That seems to help me as well. But writing lists are so beneficial. And I find that if I write down my lists before bed of the things that I really want to do the next day or any ideas that I have, like there's a note section. So I'll jot down any like brainstorming ideas. I can sleep a lot easier because I'm not thinking about all the things I need to do tomorrow or trying to remember them. It's all written down, it's good to go. All I have to do is go to sleep and have a nice restful sleep. So I hope that tip helps you, Watermelon Lime. Um, Dreamar says, I have actually, I ac have actually don't done this by leaving something not so healthy in the fridge long enough to get over the craving with something healthier. Yeah, really, it's all about choice. It's all about weighing the choice. And the choice itself isn't a bad thing. Like we, we want to have the pizza. Obviously the pizza is not as healthy for us, but we might want the pizza, but we also want the salad. So really it depends on what you want more. 
And we're always going to be sacrificing something, whatever we make a choice. Like if you choose the pizza, you might be sacrificing your health goals by consuming it. Um, but if you choose the salad, you're sacrificing the instant gratification of the pizza. So there's always going to be a sacrifice. You either sacrifice your current habits for your future goals, or you sacrifice your future goals for your current habits. That's really all it is. So you just got to ask yourself, what is more important when I'm making um, that choice? Uh, the Grayson Way 2 says, hi, I've been watching you for a while and just bought the bundle. Yes, hope you enjoy all the goodies. Thank you for the support by purchasing the bundle. Anyone out there who has been procrastinating on it, you've got just over 24 hours. It ends tomorrow. The bundle, the link is in the chat here or in the bio. So just go search for that link and grab the bundle. Go see all the cool stuff that's in there. There is some raw stuff in there. There's my eBooks, Nate's Microgreens course, all kinds of goodies. Uh, Watermelon Lime asks, how was John Kohler's juice on Thanksgiving? It was really good. Um, he will make us juices and I'll, I'll drink juices that John makes me. <laughs> like we don't juice a lot, uh, but we will drink a John Kohler juice, that's for sure. It was like a pomegranate, um, I think there was coconut or sugar cane in there, apple, jicama, he said. I can't really, really remember. But he added like a little bit of a carbonated spring water to it. So it was kind of like a fizzy, fizzy, juicy drink. It was really, really tasty. Um, and he was great for bringing that. He also brought dessert persimmons, which you can't buy. They, they grow here in Vegas. And he had their like little itty bitty, tiny little persimmons. And they were the sweetest things I've probably ever eaten in my entire life. Like it was so sweet, like syrup. They were so, so incredible. We had those for dessert with um, the pumpkin pie, which you can find in the holiday menu, which is in the bundle. So go grab the bundle. And we made that, that big Thanksgiving feast. I posted a video of our feast on YouTube. If you guys want to watch it, send me a DM and I'll send you the link to that video. Or you can find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, but John really had a great time. So did my friend Jennifer. Uh, John loved the mushroom loaf a lot. Uh, we all did. The mushroom loaf isn't in the bundle, but it is in my winter men, uh, holiday book. So that's on my website. And by the way, I do have 60% off all of our eBooks, that code is rawfood60. And if you want the link, send me a DM and I'll give you the link to it. Cause I can only have one link in my bio and right now it's for the bundle. Cause that's actually the best deal. Cause you're getting, I would say, I think Nate and I calculated it was like 215 or something dollars worth of our content in the bundle alone. Just our content was worth over $200. So it's all for 50 bucks if you grab the bundle. Uh, but yeah, he had a lot of fun. Uh, can we see your wedding rings? This is my engagement ring and this is my wedding ring. It's maple, maple wood. Uh, so those are my, my wedding rings. And this is a, this is a little ring that I got, um, in the Grand Canyon. Let's see what else we got here. Choosing your life and health over food addiction. How can we change our habits? It's a big Thing to change our habits and yes it's difficult but I have four things that I feel work the best for me so I'll share those with you to change your habits number one you need to plan out what you want your new habit to be plan out what you want to be doing if you want to be eating raw food if you want to go vegan if you want to go to bed early if you want to start doing a workout thing plan it out what do you need to do where do you need to shop what do you need to buy what do you need to schedule in, which is the second thing, schedule in your new habit. So if you want to eat raw, how do you schedule that in? When do you need to do the food prep? When do you have to go grocery shopping? When do you need to do these things and schedule yourself into your calendar? You are just as important, if not more important than all the meetings that you have in your calendar, you should be showing up for yourself. So if you schedule yourself in to make your lunch early in the morning, then get up and do that meet yourself in the kitchen and make your lunch for the next day. If your thing is to go to bed early, schedule it in, set an alarm on your phone that says, you know, 815, get ready for bed, drop everything that you're doing and just go get ready for bed. Everything will be there tomorrow for you to finish. So if you really want to be doing it, you plan it out, you schedule yourself in and then you be consistent with it. Every single day, you plan it out and you schedule yourself in. Take time at night before bed to schedule in what you wanna do for the next day and be consistent. 
So it's not how long it'll take to change your habit, it's how many repetitions it takes you to get there. So the more often you choose something, the more often you practice something, the better you get at it. So we get better at the things we practice. So if we like to lay on the couch after work and watch Netflix, if we repeat that often, we get really good at doing that. But if we turn off Netflix and we go make our lunch for the next day, and we do that often enough, we get really good at doing that and it becomes our new habit. So we get really good at what we do often. We get really good at procrastinating on healthy things. We get really good at going to bed late. We get really good at these things because we do them often. That's really all it is. A habit is just a repetitive action over and over until it's just re your reality and you can change your reality. So consistency is the third thing and then be patient. Be patient with yourself and keep going. Remember, just focus one day at a time. Focus on today. What are the habits you want to do today? Don't worry about tomorrow or the next day or all the other things that are going on. Just focus on today. Do the things you need to do today to feel your best and to work towards your goals and then just do the same thing again tomorrow. Um, why don't you juice a lot? Great question. I prefer whole food. I don't, I really don't, enjoy doing a lot of juices. Um, I prefer eating the whole food. I also want all the fiber that has all the polyphenols in it. My gut microbiome wants the, the fiber, both insoluble and I believe soluble fiber helps a lot to trap toxins and pull things out of the body. I feel the whole food is the way nature made it. So that's what I eat. Again, I'm not anti-juice. I'll have a juice every once in a while, but it's not part of our diet. It's not something that we do daily or even weekly or even monthly. Like we really don't do a lot. I'd say on average every year, I'll have like maybe five juices, I would say. And it's always somebody who made it like John. John Kohler will make us a juice and I'll drink that or what have you. But it's really not um, a daily part of our life because we've just, we're in the habit of having big salads. We eat a lot of greens and vegetables in our salads, a lot of fermented foods and sprouts. We eat a lot of fruit, but we also eat a lot of greens. So I just, per I, that's just me. I just prefer the whole food. I want to feed my microbiome and my microbiome has been improving, um, just by increasing the variety, adding more different varieties into my diet and just sticking with whole food. That's, that's my main goal. Eat whole, eat variety, eat abundance. <laughs> Those are my three main things. I'm struggling with overeating. Do you have any recommendations? So it depends on what your diet is. I, I can't dive too much into it because I need to know a little bit about your past, the diets that you've been on, what you're currently eating. Cause a lot of times people will overeat if they've gone through a day or two of under eating. Like if you've been stressed out or you've been skipping meals on one day, the next day you might find yourself overeating to compensate for that. So that's one thing. Um, but really, Entering everything into chronometer and trying to learn about the food that you are eating and see what your fat percentage is and work from there. So again, I would need a lot more information and this goes for everybody watching this right now. You are more than welcome to send me a direct message. I'm really good at replying on Instagram. So if you want to get a faster response, Instagram is the way to go, but I'm here to help. If you have any struggles, if you need someone to brainstorm with, send me a message. That's why I'm here. And I want to help you guys as much as I possibly can. So if you need help, please message for further, um, we can dive a little bit further into that. Um, trap, Root Treasures says, I got the bundle and some of your eBooks. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for the support. It means the world to us. Anyone who has been putting off or thinking about getting the bundle, you have less than 36 hours left to get it. It ends tomorrow. So the link is in the chat here or in my bio. Go grab that. Um, I so wish you had a hard copy. I bought the online version, but I need paper. So I do have hard copies of some of my eBooks, the burger book, um, all three meal plans are available in print. The party food eBook is in print. Um, dips and dressings is in print and the winter meal plan or winter eBook is in print too. But some of the smaller eBooks like the holiday menu, the taco eBook, the variety salads eBook, those are too small to make in print. So that's why they're only digital. Uh, oh, food journaling for success is in print as well. Um, 
there's a lot that's in print. I have links on Amazon, or you can just search Melissa Maris or Melissa Raimondi. Those are my author names, or you can send me a message. I can grab the link for you, but I do have print versions of some of my eBooks on Amazon and the rest are digital. Digital is a lot, um, easier for a lot of people worldwide because not everyone can get all of the print versions. Plus they're expensive. It's really expensive to self uh, publish full color, all the pictures and everything through Amazon. So it is a little bit more expensive. I make a really small royalty off each um, print, but I love that I can provide that for those who want it. Finding the right calendar has been so helpful for me. I even made it to dance class. I had procrastinated on for over a year because the reminder came scheduling for raw prep has been a bit of a hurdle yeah and really it's it's more about working with yourself to get to that point so just focus on today schedule it in tonight before you go to bed schedule it in for tomorrow and even if you didn't get it done that's okay at least you tried and because it's practice right we're not expected to go to a foreign country and have a, an intelligent conversation with a scientist in that language if we've only just started learning, we've only been learning that language for a week. It's, we're going to have challenges, we're going to overcome them, and then we're gonna get better at them. That's just how life is, right? Learning a new hobby, learning a new skill, a language, an instrument, a raw diet. It's all going to take time and practice to get those new habits in place, and you'll find the more often you do it, the easier it'll get but glad that you found that calendar. Hello, Lissa, I see Nate is live too. You guys need to do this together. <laughs> I'm feeling FOMO right now. Oh, Susan, that is so sweet of you to say. Actually, tomorrow we're gonna to be going live together. So watch for that probably around 11 a.m. PST. We will be doing a live together. That's gonna to be really exciting. And we'll take your questions. We'll chat a little bit about stuff. Uh, I'm excited to go live with him too, because I love going live with my love. He goes in the office and uh, goes live with me. <laughs> um, let's see, what else have we got here? I was raw for three months and I started having vegan cooked after and started overeating. Interesting. So normally with that is, I've noticed, and this is just from my observation, if you were raw for a while and you've been under eating on a raw diet, which is very easy to do because raw food is very low calorie, you have to eat a massive amount of it to get enough calories then if you've been under eating for three months then and you start adding the cooked food, it's going to, you're gonna be eating a lot of it to compensate for all that time that you weren't eating enough. So that's something that I've noticed that after periods of restriction, even if you weren't trying to restrict, it's again, very easy to under eat on a raw diet, then you're gonna, it's almost like an elastic band, it's gonna snap back and then you're just gonna wanna eat everything because you're now, uh, eating more calorie dense foods, it's going to be a lot easier to eat all of that. So if you wanted to try doing more raw, just start adding more raw, crowd out that cooked food with more raw, have a bigger salad, maybe put like rice in the salad or quinoa or your baked sweet potato or something if you wanted to have a little cooked food, but start slowly increasing more raw. You don't have to go all raw all at once, but make sure that you are um, eating enough. That's super key. How many DMs do you get in a day? Oh my gosh, I've never counted, but I would have to say it's definitely over 100 to 200 DMs. It depends on how um, often I message people, but I try to get to everybody every day, unless I'm like out of service, hiking with Nate or sleeping, I'm not answering, but yeah, I do get a lot of messages. Uh, just bought the bundle, loved you on Chef AJ. Thank you so much. Yeah, we made the lemon asparagus soup on Chef AJ. If you want a link to watch that video, send me a DM and I'll send you the link to that video. Um, so expensive to eat with nutritional value. It can be, it can be. Um, Nate and I have noticed that we spend less on a raw diet than we did when we used to buy all the stuff, right? The animal products, the packaged foods, takeout, restaurant stuff, like we spend a lot less now. Yes, we spend a um, decent amount because we buy a lot of food. We also don't buy all organic. We eat like maybe 50-50, like we do buy organic, but if it's not organic, we don't like get um, stressed out over it or whatever, we'll buy it. Because we, we would rather get enough calories and get enough 
um, variety than force ourselves to only eat organic because that would be way too expensive. So we do eat some, but we don't eat all. So that saves money. And also we like to go to wholesalers. Actually, we're going to LA this weekend for my birthday. My birthday is December 3rd. I'll be 43 and we are going to LA with John Kohler to celebrate. So we're going to go down there and buy a whole bunch of produce. We have a freezer to freeze a lot of the berries and other things that we're going to get in LA for cheap. So that's going to happen. I'm excited for that. Uh, Troop Root Treasure says, get the bundle. It's packed with all the goodies. Uh, yes, link is in the chat or in my bio to go grab the bundle. You've got less than 36 hours to do this. It's going to be over tomorrow. So please, if you've been thinking about it, go do it now because tomorrow's gonna be here before you know it and you'll miss it. So go grab it now um, before it's over. Yes, I have the dips one from Amazon. That's awesome. Yes, dips and dressings. I have that print version on Amazon. Thank you for the motivation. You're very welcome. I'm so happy to motivate. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, what do you eat in the morning? I've always procrastinate when eating breakfast. So we eat fruit. We try to get about a thousand calories worth of fruit before our lunch. So what our mornings typically look like is we'll get up around anywhere between 5.30 and 6.30. Then we eat fruit right away. We'll drink our water and we'll have some fruit. We'll have like three, I like to have a 300 or 400 calories worth of fruit first thing in the morning, whole fruit. I'll just do like bananas. Uh, for a while we were doing like the big giant keep mangoes that were like 500 calories each, they were massive. Um, I'll do pears, right now apples and pears are pretty abundant. We have some persimmons. We're waiting for those to ripen. So we have those sometimes in the morning. But again, I try to have around 300 to 400 calories worth of fruit first thing. Then I then we go for our 90 minute walk. So we'll do our 10,000 steps and sometimes we'll do a workout like a body weight workout. Um, and then, then we have our smoothie around 9.30. 9.30 in the morning we'll have our smoothie. And that typically is around 600 to 700 calories. So for our breakfast, we split up into two like, first breakfast and second breakfast, and we have around a thousand calories. And then by lunchtime, or we're, we're ready for our lunch and we'll have a low fat salad, a big giant variety salad with lettuce and a low fat chia seed or date based dressing. And then we will have our higher fat with different vegetables or the same vegetables. We just have like lots of variety, frisee lettuce, radicchio, dandelion, um, endive, cabbages, romaine, you name it. We'll try and find it and put it in there. We've got beets and radishes and sunchokes and fennel and all kinds of goodies. We put that in our salad with uh, a higher fat dressing, not like super high fat. We're talking like a couple tablespoons of seeds in our or nuts in our dressing. So we don't go overboard on the fats, but we do keep our seed dressings or fat dressings for the evening meal. And that's pretty much what our day looks like. Um, I'm about to go on an intermittent fast to lose some weight from diabetes. Um, I'm personally not into intermittent fasting, especially if you're doing a raw diet, simply because it is pretty much, it's super hard to get enough calories in a smaller window because you can only fit like 500, maybe 600 calories or maybe 700, like if you're, if it's a smoothie, but if it's a salad, like 500 to 600 is all you can really fit in your stomach at any given time. So you do have to eat more often throughout the day. So that's why I personally don't do intermittent fasting. I have way more energy when I eat first thing in the morning. I have a better workout when I have the energy to do the workout. I am not into the intermittent fasting. I think that it came around um, for, it, it. well, it got popular from like the, paleo kind of low carb crew because they can like they're eating high fat high protein so they're like they have to eat like less often I guess to get all those cat or to not eat overeat calories but for me on a raw diet I don't think it's it's necessary but then again that's just me I I, I don't do it and I probably never will um, after eight years raw what are your thoughts on olive oil or oils in general I know everyone is different but curious we don't use oils at all um, and probably never will. I don't think oils are healthful. I'm not saying that they're bad, but I don't think that they're ideal to consume as much sugar in the whole form like we do all our fruits and vegetables to have oil. Oil is fiberless and I'm really big on fiber. Plus I consider it a processed food even if it's been cold pressed 
Um, I, it's, it's extraction. It's kind of like juicing. Um, I, again, these are just my opinions. I know not everyone's going to agree with everything I say, but I don't use oils and probably never will. If there's like a smidge of oil in like a restaurant thing, I will have it, but we don't use oils. I've probably had oil maybe like in the last eight years, maybe like five times or something in mostly in like raw vegan restaurant stuff. If we go out and it has a little bit in it, but I always ask if they can make it without the oil if possible. So it's been very, very little the amount that I've had and I have way more energy um, and it's easier to clean everything too because oil gets everywhere. So I, I just, it's just not part of our life. <laughs> Um, your content is nice. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy. Hello from Malaysia. Oh, Rashef Yin is in here. Rashef Yin, you are amazing. I seriously love your photography and whenever you make something of mine, I just love seeing how you present it. Rashef Yin has stuff in the bundle as well. So go check out the bundle. The link is in the chat as well as in my bio. There's less than 36 hours left to get it. It ends tomorrow. So go check it out. Um, Susan says, I'm shocked you actually respond to people in your DMs. Most influencers don't take the time to engage like that. And that is why, that is exactly why I respond in the DMs because when I first started, I wanted help and I needed help. I had to figure a lot of it out on my own. Yes, there was YouTube and yes, there were books and stuff, but I wanted to talk to somebody who actually did it, who knew what was going on and who could maybe brainstorm with me, right? Because I didn't have anybody to brainstorm with and nobody would message me. So, I mean, I was in the groups, but we were all kind of trying to figure it out together, but none of the influencers would message me. So I, that was something that I valued when I first started and I wanted to be able to provide that for other who are just starting or even if you've been doing it for a long time and having struggles or whatever I'm here to to engage with you that's why I'm here I do not have a virtual assistant or anyone responding to my DMs I do it all myself I film everything myself I edit everything myself I do it all myself but I do it for you and I do it for the animals because I feel like that's my passion and I really love it how long is the drive to LA it's about four hours ish so yeah, will you share where you go in LA for produce? Yes, actually, I have a YouTube video that we filmed last time that we went to LA. If you want to get the link to that video, send me um, a DM and I will send you the link to that video, but I will be sharing. So watch my stories. Um, I'll be sharing kind of like as we go throughout the day, what we see, what we find. And if I, I'm probably going to film another YouTube video of it. Those videos take like 15 hours to edit. So the, the, a big undertaking, but I do want to share more about that. So watch my stories next weekend. And if you want to watch the previous LA trip, send me a DM and I'll send you the link to watch that video. I uh, love persimmons. Yes. I love the last bundle. However, I wish they would break it down uh, much more as raw or break it down more such as raw food in the bundle vegan bundle, whole food plant-based. Yeah, the thing is with the, the plant-based bundle, the one that's going on right now, that's just all things plant-based. So that includes vegan, raw food, all kinds of stuff. There is a raw vegan bundle that happens once a year. It's coming in spring of 2023. So there will only be one in 2023. Um, but each bundle is different. Really, it's all about going to the link and just scrolling through and seeing if there's anything that you like in there because you don't have to use everything that's in the bundle. Even just buying like the bundle, even just two or three things in the bundle are worth more than the bundle itself. So for example, my eBooks that are in there uh, value $99 retail, but you're getting them for 50 bucks plus everyone else's stuff. And again, even if you didn't use everything in there, it might be worth it for just a few things that you wanted that would be cheaper to just buy the bundle um, and not use any of the other stuff, but you can totally use all of it. But yeah, like we try to keep the bundles um, as unique as possible every time that we have them. So check it out, go scroll through and see all the goodies. But the raw vegan bundle is coming in 2023. There's only going to be one bundle. So if you see it, hop on it. <laughs> Which time do you have your last meal? I would say our last meal ends. It could vary. It could be 530 or it could be 730 it, or eight or nine. Sometimes we'll have banana and ice cream at nine. 
um, right before we go to bed. We don't really like worry too much about that kind of stuff, um, but we do eat around five-ish. That's typically what time we eat our big dinner. This is beautiful. Have you ever considered to go fruitarian? My goal had been hard, raw, and fruitarian. I desire, though I'm strict vegan. I personally will never go full fruit. I don't think that that is um, a sustainable way to do it because I see as much value in greens and vegetables and sprouts and microgreens and things like that as I do fruit. I think that they both belong on the pedestal because the fruitarian idea like fruit is the number one whole food, human food, whatever, and then they forget about the greens and all the minerals and all the amazing stuff that greens have to offer, especially for detox. Like there's things in, in vegetables and greens that help the liver to actually detox. So greens are super, super important. Plus all the minerals that you're getting that you don't get as much on on a fruit diet. You have to eat, you have to overeat calories, I feel, on a fruit based or fruit only diet in order to get all the minerals and everything that you need. I find it um, more difficult to eat more fruit than vegetables. The vegetables are like super easy to get um, all the things that I need. So I personally won't be doing an all fruit diet and I will be sticking with what I'm doing right now. My gut has improved. Um, my overall gut score last year was 83% and it's improved to 91%. I'm continuing to grow my microbiome. I started off as a, um, a bottle fed baby, so I didn't get the necessary bacteria to start my life out properly. So I have also a family history of colon cancer and gut disease like Crohn's, IBS, that kind of thing. So. I really need to focus on my microbiome, which I believe is more fiber variety, more vegetables, more sprouts, more inulin rich foods, and that is in the vegetable category. So I consider fruit and vegetables, greens, to be equal. I don't think one is better than the other. I think they both are necessary for a healthy long-term raw diet. Um, thank you everybody for joining. I'm just scrolling through the chat to see if there are more questions. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you. This makes sense. I felt kind of averse to oil personally while transitioning to raw and was curious since you have been thriving long-term. Yeah, I don't do the oils. I do whole fats and I focus on omega-3 rich fats. Like we do chia seeds every single day now and flax will add once in a while. Um, I not really like the flavor of flax, but I know how good it is. So we will add it to our dressings or our creamy stuff. I like to add a little bit of flax to that too, but chia is a daily um, source of good, healthy omega-3s and we try to keep our omega-6 lower. So less um, of the omega-6 rich sources, which is all the yums, like the nuts and seeds, <laughs> avocados and stuff. So just less, not eliminate, just less um, and increasing the omega-3 intake. But you can get omega-3 from veggies. Greens are really high in omega-3. Berries are really high in omega-3. There's a lot of omega-3 in fruits and vegetables. So you can get a lot just from fruits and veggies, but we like to add our omega-3 from chia as well to boost it to get um, a really good amount. Um, let's see what else we have here. I really enjoyed your friends giving YouTube video. Thank you so much, Rashef Yin, for saying that. Again, if you guys want to watch the Thanksgiving video, send me a DM and I will post the link to that video. It's on YouTube. Oh, Yoga Liberty in the house. She's saying, oh my gosh, you look so pretty today. We need to go on a nighttime walk together. 100%, I agree, Yoga Liberty now lives in Las Vegas with us, so we'll be hanging out with her more often. Can't wait to see you soon, sis. Oh, it's gonna be so great. Um, do you use barley grass? We do have the Daily Green Boost powder. Um, we'll use that once in a while, we'll add it to dressings. We also dehydrate our excess microgreens. So we'll cut anything that we can't eat because we like to grow a huge amount of them. We'll cut those up and dehydrate them and then grind them into a powder and we just add that to smoothies or dressings or whatever, soups and curries and stuff. By the way, you can get the soup book in the bundle. Less than 36 hours to grab the bundle. Click that link in the chat if you've been procrastinating on it because tomorrow's gonna be here before you know it and it'll be gone. So if you've been wanting to get it or thinking about it, click that link, link in my bio as well. Um, but yeah, we do have the barley grass juice powder, but we don't use it like 
every day or whatever. We'll add it when we see it. We'll be like, oh yeah, we should add that to our whatever. <laughs> um, I agree. Wow. Powerful love. New page. Love this page. Thank you so much. Um, I'm glad you answered the question. You're very welcome. I'm here to help you guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me. I'm more than happy to help. That is my passion. You guys are my passion. The animals are my passion. And I really wanna help you to make better choices. So if you have struggles, go send me a DM. I'm here to help. How you manage eating raw in the winter? Great question. I have an informational ebook in the bundle called Let It Snow, which uh, talks about my experience being raw in the winter in Canada. So the first five years that I was raw, I've been eight, raw now over eight years, but my first five years were in Canada where it goes to like minus 40 in the winter, minus 30, minus 40, and it snows most of the time. So I managed to do raw there. My top tips are in that ebook, which is in the bundle. So grab the bundle. If you have the bundle, it's in there. The link is in the chat or in my bio, but really quickly here, I will share some of my top tips. Number one would be to eat enough. If you're not eating enough, your body's gonna downregulate your metabolism and you're gonna feel cold more often. So eating enough is number one, top priority. Make sure that you eat enough. Fuel your body so that it can burn and be warmer. A lot of people, it doesn't matter what diet you're on, raw or cooked, you could be eating all cooked food, but if you're only eating like 1200 calories a day, your body's gonna be in a state of starvation and your metabolism is like one of the first things to go. Your metabolism and your hormones they get down regulated when you are under eating because your body's trying to conserve energy and it's it doesn't want to have a baby when you're under eating so you you can females can lose their periods and a lot of people lose their hair because they're just not eating enough calories so it doesn't matter what diet you're on you need to eat enough it's super important um, number two would be to not eat things right out of the fridge take stuff out of the fridge and put it on the counter let it get to room temperature and have room temperature salads have room temperature smoothies that's a really important one too um, instead of using straight frozen fruit for your smoothies, use fresh fruit and then just add ice because that will keep it cold in the mouth, but not cold in the body. So that really helps as well. Um, spices. I use a lot of spices and I used a lot when I was in Canada, really warming spices, like lots of ginger, cayenne, chilies, rosemary, things that stimulate the circulation that really helped me as well to stay warm. I used my Vitamix and my dehydrator as tools to help bring food to room temperature or warm it slightly. If you blend um, a soup base in the blender, a high speed blender for about two minutes, it warms up to um, an acceptable raw temperature, which would be under 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can have warm soups uh, made in the dehydrator or in the blender. And again, I've got the soup book in the bundle right now. You're getting 77 of my soup or soup recipes in that bundle. The link is right here in the chat or in my bio. Less than 36 hours to grab that amazing deal. Over nine, almost $9,000 worth of content for 50 bucks. So the soup book is in there. And you can have cozy, warm soups. You can use the dehydrator to warm up bowls and stuff. You can blend your dressing a little longer and it slightly warms up a little bit. You don't have to eat everything cold. It doesn't have to be that way. And then other tips like cozy up, warm your house, exercise. Exercise is so important to stay warm. If you're feeling chilly, get up and do 100 jumping jacks. You'll warm up. Do 100 squats. <laughs> You'll definitely warm up. That's for sure. Um... So psyched about the soup book, yes! For those of you who got the bundle, you get the soup book. You can make all kinds of soups and stews and curries and chilies, all raw, all delicious. Uh, your soup book is fantastic, especially with it being cold here. Yeah, it's great. It's a great alternative to salads. I actually like soups mostly for the the change from a salad, not necessarily to stay warm because I feel like I, I've got that down, but I do like the different texture and I love, soups are so easy to make. They actually are, in my opinion, faster than making a salad because it's basically just a savory smoothie with a chunky um, ingredients in the soup. So I find it a lot easier to make a soup than a salad, but yeah, soup book is in the bundle. Your winter book is great too. Thank you very much. The bundle has great resource, resources on raw in the winter. Yes, yes, the bundle, grab the bundle. Less than 36 hours left to get it. Link in the chat or in my bio. Don't hesitate guys, because tomorrow's gonna be gone. And if you don't get it now, if you've been wanting to get it, now's your chance. Struggling with candida for years, how long did it take for you to see improvements after you changed your diet? Great question. 
Um, I had candida for 15 years from age like 19 to about 34. I was diagnosed when I was 19 by a naturopath with systemic candida and leaky gut. So I had like, I had serious gut issues for pretty much all of my adult life until I went raw. The reason was I was feeding my microbiome with a wide variety of fiber. I wasn't detoxing or doing anything like that. I was just eating a lot of variety, lots of greens, lots of spices and garlic and onions. And I was feeding my microbiome with all the inulin that I was eating and all the different fibers I was eating. And with time that slowly built my microbiome so that my microbiome fought off the yeast. I didn't have to do anything. I've done fasts and cleanses and candida kits. I used to work at a health food store for a decade where I got like super cheap and free supplements. Like I got candida cleanse kits. I did the bentonite psyllium thing for like nine months. Nothing got rid of my candida until I actually changed the foundation of what I was eating every day and increased the variety of what I was eating. I've taken the probiotics. I've done all kinds of stuff. I did the gallbladder flush. I did parasite cleanses. I even have a parasite zapper. I did all that stuff and none of it helped like raw did because I actually just had to change the foundation of what I was doing and be consistent with it. And then my body just became an environment not friendly to yeast and the yeast just died off naturally because my gut was getting strong and it was fighting it off itself. So I think that it was really the amount of fiber variety that I was eating when I first started raw, the low fat, eating enough, that kind of thing. Um, and it, I don't really have like a time frame on when it was like all of a sudden it was great. It was more of a gradual change. Like every, every week, every month it got better. Um, and even after eight years, like I mentioned, my gut is still improving after eight years on a raw diet. I really wish that they had gut microbiome tests when I first started, because I would have loved to see where my gut was when I first started. I think it was pretty low <laughs> um, because after seven years on raw, my overall gut score was 83%. And now that I'm over eight years raw, it's now 91%. So it's been improving over the last seven years and then eight years. So after nine years, maybe it'll be higher. I'm hoping, I uh, hope to constant, constantly improve on my microbiome, but it's really a gradual change every week, every month, every year, because it didn't take us weeks to get here. It took us years of eating the these things that don't serve us and the habits that we have. It took years to get here. It's not gonna take months to get to this like optimal level, right? It's gonna take time. And as you feed your microbiome, they will start to fight off the yeast. So again, it takes time, just be consistent. Um, and that's, that's what I would say. Uh, for the candida thing. Um, but yeah, I, I used to have bladder infections and yeast infections like every two months before I went raw. It was horrible, horrible. Um, I just want to eat whole, fresh, ripe. Yeah. Whole, fresh, ripe food. It's great. Uh, one thing at a time when I'm hungry till full, that's great. I prefer variety. Variety has been incredible for me and I prefer having multiple different varieties in my diet. I don't do a lot of mono mealing hardly ever. Um, it may be as a snack. If I do first thing in the morning, I'll have whatever fruit, but Lots and lots of variety. That's where I'm at. Um, mauve is your color. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you have a question, post in the chat. I'm going to have to go though. Um, we have a friend coming over for a little bit of some kitchen time and he should be here soon. How has your healing been going? My healing has been amazing. I feel absolutely awesome and things just keep getting better. So even, even when you think they can't get better, they do. For me, anyways, I'm just blessed and I love it. Um, your hair looks great up. Thank you very much. Can you explain the test percentages? How do I do that? I use Ombre Lab, O-M-B-R-E-L-A-B. -E I think they have um, a Black Friday sale going on right now. I think it's 40% off the test kits. You can do that and send it off. You just do it in your home and you send them off. Uh, it's I'm gonna post it in the chat here, uh, Ombre Lab ombre lab and you can again buy the test kit they have um 
sale, Black Friday sale going on right now. And just test your poo. You get like a, a swab and you take a little sample of your poo and put it into this little container, shake it up and just follow the instructions, put it back in the box and ship it out to them. It's already prepaid, like you just put it in the mailbox and it sends to them. And then after about three weeks, you will get your test results and they'll email it to you with a list of like the bacteria that you have. Um, it shows your overall score, what you might be prone to, uh, like disease wise, based on the bacteria you have in your gut. And they have suggested foods that feed bacteria that you need to work on. So it's a really great way of assessing your own individual gut microbiome. And this science is new and we're learning so much about the microbiome. And I prefer to evolve with the new science than to rely on, um, appeal to ancestry or appeal to nature theories. I prefer to follow the science, but that's just me. I, I think that the science, it speaks volumes on the microbiome and that's, that's my deal. I love that. I absolutely love learning about it. What about in Australia? I don't know if they have, um, test kits in Australia. You might need to do some Google searches and see if maybe search gut microbiome home test. Australia and see if there's any companies in Australia that do that. I know Ombre Lab just does the USA. Um, Viome, V-I-O-M-E, that's a great one for Canada. I'm not sure if they do the UK, but check your, your country and see if there's any companies in your country that do gut microbiome tests. A lot more companies are doing it nowadays because it is the frontline new science, so it's really exciting. Beautiful woman, what raw foods to keep my skin clear? I'm 56, have eczema badly. So what raw foods I need, um, anything hydrating, really focus on improving your gut microbiome, improving variety. There's no specific food that is going to be the miracle. It's everything all together, proper sleep, proper exercise, hydration, all of these things are going to help. But more importantly than eating all of that good stuff is getting rid of the things that are not serving you anymore. So eliminating the processed foods that are still in your diet, if there's any, eliminating animal products, if those are still in your diet, eliminating the processed oils or processed sugars, that kind of thing. Get that stuff out of your diet and focus on adding more fresh raw food. Hydrate yourself properly, exercise really well, um, and just go from there, work from there, work on building your microbiome because I feel personally pretty much all disease begins with an imbalanced gut microbiome. So it's very important to, um, look at that, but I would need to dive a little bit more into what you do every day, what you eat every day to see kind of what's going on. But again, everyone, you can message me anytime you want, send me a DM. I'm more than help, happy to brainstorm with you and I've got to go cause our friend's going to be here any minute, but I loved hanging out with you. We're going to be live tomorrow, Nate and I at 11 AM PST. So join us tomorrow for that. And what else? Oh, grab the plant-based bundle. There's less than 36 hours left to grab it. Please go check it out. The link is in the chat here. If you want to support us, this is a great way to do so. Even if you only use a couple eBooks in the bundle, it is worth it. $50 gets you almost $9,000 worth of vegan content. There's lots of raw things in there. There's tons of information and courses and guides. You're getting Nate's microgreens course, which is valued at $77, but that's part of the bundle as well. So definitely go check it out. Link is in the chat or in my bio. I love you all so much. We'll see you tomorrow for more lives. I can't wait to chat with you then. Until then, as always, fruit on.